I have two grown daughters, and I think it's difficult sometimes because my daughters don't see a gender issue. They've grown up thinking they could be anything they've wanted to be. The founders of CREW were pioneers in the industry of gender imbalance for women. How do we succeed and advance in your careers? I mean, if you look at real estate now, there are so many women in the, art, in the industry that were not there 20 years ago. So it used to be you felt pretty lonely, and now you see a lot more women, and they're women of various ages and ethnic diversity, so it's very exciting. The impact that Crew Dallas has had on the local commercial real estate market has been amazing. I think uh, companies are better that have a greater percentage of women. We've made good companies great. I think when you have a more diverse understanding of people and how they can influence and how they can lead, you're a better city. And I think having crew involved and having our members with their unique perspectives adds a lot to the development here, the leadership, the community involvement, our philanthropic efforts. Here's the thing, you know, diversity is huge and the world is changing and real estate has to change with it. And real estate's been a little slow to change. I mean, we're getting better. I think it matters, and I think it makes a better community for wherever you live. I think that women in commercial real estate take their jobs very seriously. You can't be in this industry and not be a go-getter. I know right when I got into the industry, uh, my dad's in the real estate industry here in Dallas, and I had to basically mooch off him for all of my real estate contacts. And, you know, within the last few years, you know, he's started to call me asking me, um, my buyer's a female, is she involved in crew? Do you have a crew connection? Um, he certainly understands the power of the crew network. A lot of people may not be as aware of the philanthropic side of crew, um, but as I've become involved in the organization, I realize that the opportunity to give back to our community really enriches us in all sorts of ways, you know, mostly as humans. Not, I mean, it surely makes us better business people, but, you know, I think it impacts our schools, our nonprofits. The mission of crew in the community is to help women and girls, and uh, one of the ways to do that is to raise awareness and, uh, and, and that leads to funding and, and leads to other good things and, and just, for, just forces people to think about things that they might not even be aware of. There are so many women in Dallas County that are single heads of households and impacting those women in particular is very critical to the growth of the city and the growth of Dallas. And I think Crew has done an amazing job of making an impact. And what my passion is, is the mentoring. And as I see Crew, one of the greatest impacts that we have is on young ladies. High school young ladies, college young ladies, when they have the opportunity to spend a half a day, a day, a week, a month with a Crew member and have a positive role model and can see a lady who's successful and who has worked hard, it, it gives them a roadmap. And so when you have someone that picks up the phone and they say, hey, I have this young woman who is interested in maybe asset management or leasing, she's not really sure, do you mind if, um, do you have a few minutes that you can talk to her? Everyone says, absolutely. I feel like women helping other women is a very powerful tool. So I can only encourage younger girls in the business that don't know a whole lot about it or don't have a lot of contacts. Crew has grown my network tremendously. We have raised the bar as an organization um, for real estate and I think that it's very important for girls to go after careers that they normally wouldn't go after and commercial real estate is one. So we've got a, a really great group of younger people coming into our industry and making sure that you know, they have the opportunities that we've had. And so there's, the work's not done. There's a lot to do.